A week after she went missing, the body of Brittany Johnson has been recovered from a treacherous part of the Sandias. Rescue crews found her yesterday. Investigators identified her today. News 13's Cole Miller is live in Northeast Albuquerque, where the Sheriff's Department just briefed reporters. Cole? Well, good evening, Alex. BCSO played a major role in this whole search, working with teams from across New Mexico to find Johnson. Unfortunately, this story did not have a happy ending. We all love Brittany. She was a sweetheart. The 24 year old was found just before 5 o'clock last night at the bottom of a cliff just south of the Sandia Crest parking lot. Now, because of where she was found and weather conditions up there, it took crews more than six hours to recover her body. Johnson went missing last Saturday, last seen leaving a spa near Broadway and Mountain. On Wednesday, deputies patrolling the Crest Road found her car and immediately began searching, working up to 16 hours a day. Friends and family were there helping and awaiting any updates. The Sheriff's Department says her death appears accidental and that she likely fell on Saturday. Now, News 13 spoke with those who knew Johnson as the search went on. They said she loved hiking up in the area, but lately she was showing signs that something may not have been right, and they were concerned about her well-being. One more friend says it's been a long and trying week. It's sad. I wish that someone could have prevented it, helped out. She's a really sweet girl. She's going to be missed by, by many. And I just wish it was different. Given the totality of the circumstances with um, the way she, she disappeared, her normal day-to-day -day activities, and no previous history of um, you know, severe depression or, or suicide attempts, uh, it would appear that by all accounts this was accidental. Now, the Office of the Medical Investigator has performed an autopsy on Johnson. Those rep that report and those findings could take some time, though. Alex, back to you. All right, Cole. The Sheriff's Department says it's grateful for all the volunteers who came out to help search for Johnson.